there's been said to be many deaths in the Stranger Things Season 4, Volume 2, and this new trailer definitely shows that to be the case. In this video, I'm going to discuss all the death clues we got throughout Season 4 and in this new trailer. Do you guys have these bats that have, like, rabies? What? It's just that rabies are, like, my number one greatest fear, and I think we should probably get you to a doctor, like, really soon, because once the symptoms set in, it's too late, you're already, like, dead. Henderson told me you were a badass. Wait, Henderson said that? Oh, yeah. Kid worships you, dude. Like, you have no idea. Firstly, we see Dr. Martin Brenner, aka Papa, investigating the portal to the Upside Down in the flashback scene where Eleven had just banished Vecna. We're back with the flashback. We hear a voiceover from a scene in current time. This is likely the first scene we're gonna see in Chapter 8 with how Chapter 7 ended. The title of Chapter 8 is literally Papa, so I do think it's in Chapter 8 we will see the end of Papa. I think since the start he's been a character that's had to die. He did die, essentially a fake death in Season 1. He disappeared only to return to help Eleven regain her powers, to the point that when the military do inevitably, as we see in the trailer, arrive at Project Nina, she can leave and protect herself. It's a thing done by force, rather than her just walking off like we've seen she's already tried to do. I think Chapter 8 will wholly be based around Eleven and Papa's relationship, only for him to die at the end of it. If it doesn't happen in Volume 2, then I think it will just happen in Season 5. Then we see Max enter Vecna's curse again. I'm hoping this doesn't render the previous escape scene useless, but it actually she looks like she dies. This is probably the most important shot in the trailer. We see Max, Lucas and his sister Pariah entering Vecna's house. This is also the same time we see this blue lit scene here, where Lucas looks up in horror, like someone is being taken by Vecna. It looks like they've got a plan to try and test Vecna and she admits herself to the curse. We see her taking the headphones off and turning the music off, but something goes wrong in this scene. Jason arrives. He's obviously going to be confronting Lucas about being involved in the Hellfire Club. The thing with this Jason character is he's been mostly affected by the Vecna deaths, first his girlfriend Chrissy and then his friend Patrick. This put him on this path to pursue Eddie and the Hellfire Club, to then witness someone Lucas himself is fond of die to Vecna's curse, and I think that's how Eddie could even live on into season 5 without being arrested. If the kid that is mostly after them sees that someone Lucas cares about dies too, he will know that he's not in on it. The odd thing about it is in these trailers we don't see Pariah or Max in this room with them. We don't know who exactly it is being taken. For Lucas to actually stand up like this and punch Jason is quite out of character, and I think it would take something quite big happening for him to do that. So if this scene is after, could it be that because Jason arrives, he's not able to do something that he was meant to do to help with the plan to pull Max back out of being taken? So Max dies. See this big plan with the group in this RV? So we can assume this is quite early on in the two episodes. Throughout the trailer, it gives off this big feeling that they might not win this time. Robin says it herself. We see Nancy obviously survives what happens at the end of chapter 7, but here, even more danger. It does make it look like Steve or Nancy will die but it actually makes it look like Robin does. With Robin being the character that says out loud she's got a bad feeling about it this time, yet them still going ahead with it, this time they might actually fail. In the trailer there's a quick shot of Robin actually getting trapped by vines in the Upside Down, with Vecna following shortly after. Throughout Season 4 she's been one of the characters that have pried at Nancy and Steve about getting back together. What if she dies and her death is the thing that actually does that? She dies and ex claims that they get back together. They can't save her. The most normal and almost obvious thing to think of when it comes to Steve is that he's going to be the one that dies. From the very obvious pointing out of the bites he got from the demo bats to the show all of a sudden suggesting that he's going to get back with Nancy. It's become very clear that something big is going to happen in this area of the show, but it's when they make it so obvious that you have to ask why. I mean, if anything, it turned into a joke. It almost makes you think, what if it's just a decoy. The Duffer brothers said in each season they have Steve get beaten up and this was that scene, but there's a very big and real reason as to why he was the one that was dragged and bitten like this. And when it comes to creatures biting you in some shows, that could mean the end. And I think this is one of them, just like what we saw with Billy, with Will. If you get any piece of the upside down in you, this actual hive mind dimension, 
it becomes a part of you. In the middle of chapter 7, there's a scene where Eddie proclaims how much Dustin and Nancy both love Steve. Henderson told me you were a badass. Wait, Henderson said that? Oh yeah. Kid worships you, dude. You have no idea. Wheeler, right there, she didn't waste a second. He finds out these things that Steve never even thought. He was almost touched by what he said about Dustin. He's finding out, not only from Eddie, but along the way in season 4, that these people actually look up to him. That they do think highly of him. And I think he's going to want to live up to that image. That high praise. And that always leads to sacrifice. Now, there was a scene that I put in the start of this video where Steve coughs. That was from him getting off the bike and then him saying, Just nailed a bunch of that crap. That was actually more of a joke comment. And it was about the bites getting him sick. But essentially, what these wounds are doing is making him weaker. It doesn't mean that he's 100% infected and can't survive. But I think it's made it very clear that since he got these wounds, a death sentence was made either way. Even if it's not him, it's for someone else because of these wounds. It's a big deal. We don't see a lot of Steve at all in the trailer. He's been reminded of what Nancy and Dustin think of him, so I think he will likely save Nancy, Dustin, and or Eddie. The Duffer brothers did say they really like Steve. He's like their favourite character, and they wouldn't like to kill him off, and they joked about just not doing the show anymore if he died. But that doesn't save him. Best believe, if they think the end of his story should be now, it will be. There has been said to be major deaths just in these two episodes alone. And again, because this is just two episodes, it's hard to say if it will happen in season four. If not, if none of this happens in these two episodes, in season five, I actually see it happening. When it comes to the trailer, it paints a picture about what season four has all been about. And the picture is one of unity. Robin dies, leaving Steve and Nancy getting back together. Max's death would leave Lucas returning to his friends. Back to Hopper, Joyce and Murray at the prison, they find a museum of demo monsters, including pieces of the Mind Flayer. They definitely escape, but I do think they go back to Yuri's church, and of course getting the flamethrower and the weapons to then take them all out. But as far as death goes, I think they're all going to survive apart from Dimitri. A common pattern in Stranger Things that they've stayed loyal to is every season a character is introduced that you start to like. With Dimitri, we've got a character backstory with his son Mikhail. We've got him being the reason Joyce even found Hopper. I think he's gonna die so that Hopper can go back home and hopefully tell his son how much of a hero he really was. It was because of him that he's back with his family. This was foreshadowed a lot. And yeah, I think Yuri will die along with the prison. <laughs> Unless he goes back to the church with them and stays there, but I doubt it. Now, there is this shot in the trailer where we literally see a Demogorgon on top of Hopper. But if you actually look at it, it looks almost funny. It's slowed down to where he's screaming and you think he's gonna die. But the Demogorgon looks like it's slowing down, like it's been killed. Unless it's clawing him and that's why he's not biting. We did see that with Bob. But it just looks like we're gonna get another perspective and we see someone has killed the Demogorgon, likely Dimitri. I just think it's important that Hopper does reunite with Eleven. That's literally been the point of these horrendous bully scenes. But what do you think? Who do you think is gonna die? What do you see in these trailers? Let me know what you think down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you press the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.